Hey everyone, I'm back again. Okay, so I've got the second layout that I'm making for National Scrapbook Day, which is today, um, May 7th. Yes, May 7th. Um, 2015. Oh, wow, 2016. So I've got some photos here. I'm going to go ahead and just create a project life page. I had a lot of different photos here that I wanted to use. Um, well, not really a lot, really just two photos and then a photo collage. So I'm going to have a lot of filler cards here, but I kind of like that to be able to add some more journaling than what I typically use. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about the photos. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the September um, or one of my September 2014 pages that are going to be in my album. The photo that's going to go up here in the top right is a picture of Kaylin sitting in Chick-fil-A on their little play set. And he's got his eyes covered and he's counting with his feet dangling. He was so little. Um, so that's what that photo is. And then the top left photo is a photo of Ernest. Um, he's a barber. Um, well, one of the things he does is he's a barber. So um, we have a kind of a barber room set up in our home. And that's a picture of it from the door because he had it all set up with his little barber pole and everything. And then the bottom... Um, photo collage is of Ernest again on his birthday. These are just some different photos that I took. Um, so I just thought that was kind of, kind of nice to have those different photos of him. So I have this top card and it said, I think it said you're so sweet. And so I'm changing it to you're so totally sweet. And then it's got some donuts in the background. Um, I thought that was kind of a cute card to add and then kind of using the same sentiment really and just changing it slightly so I can use you know the different alphas I can use these white alphas which are actually from jelly bean soup they're the alpha beans and whipped white and then also um, I have that Heidi swap sticker now I had this um, journaling a bit and this is actually the same sticker I had used on my last layout for some journaling and it was a larger kind of teal uh, sticker and it was actually a blueprint um, like the floor plans of something and it had lines on it. So I ended up just kind of chopping it apart and using it for journaling spots. So the journaling on that card, that top right card says playing during lunch at our regular spot, Chick-fil-A. Now, because these cards were actually cut apart from a cut apart sheet, I am lining them up with a regular Project Life card to make sure that they are cut to the proper size. I hate having to like put cards in and trim them and put them back and trim them again just to make them fit. I want to know from the beginning that they're going to fit. And again, because this paper is so thin, I am backing a lot of these cards just on some scrap paper that I have sitting around. Um, just for stability, I don't end up, I don't think I'm going to do this the whole time, but they just seem so flimsy. And when I'm adding things on top of them, it's kind of hard to have such a flimsy piece of paper. So for right now, I'm adding things on the back of it. I hope I don't have to do this, this whole stash kit, because that's going to kind of suck but um, we'll see. I'm not sure. I still have those same embellishments sitting around my desk like I did earlier today. Um, it's exactly the same setup, but it just is easy to work with it when it's all kind of sitting around me. It just makes it easy. I can reach everything. I can see everything and it just, it just is easy. So I'm kind of flipping through to see, and this is where I'm trying to use some of these other I am um, collection um, are they called tidbits? I think they're called bits and pieces. I'm not sure, but just the, basically the die cut pack. <clears throat> so I'm kind of mixing in a few of those other colors and themes into this, into this layout. I'm going to add a few gold bits in here as well. Um, I thought it'd be nice to kind of mix in a little bit more. I need a piece of paper to back my collage photo on and I really like this teal polka dot paper. So I'm going to use that to back the collage on and then I'm going to embellish it a little bit. Now these bottom cards are going to actually switch places. So this teal paper is actually going to go on the other side and the pink one will move over to the left. It really wouldn't have mattered. It would have worked either direction but I just end up flipping it around. <clears throat> it ends up looking a little bit more balanced that way when I go to put it in my page protector. But the design itself, of course, stays the same. I'm just changing the location. Now this one says be happy, um, but I'm going to cover that up. I'm not going to actually use that as the, as the um, I guess, wording on this card. But I do like the color and the heart, so I'm going to put something over that. 
And because this again was his birthday weekend, these photos were taken, I go ahead and put this there are these um, balloons and then I have this flag banner that says so very blessed and I'm just going to put it right over. I thought about putting his his year like hit the way he was turning. He was turning 34 that year, um, but I don't like the colors of it from that um, die cut pack. So I'm going to use these Amy Tangerine vellum stickers from the sticker book and I'm going to put 34 there and then I'm going to add my journaling as well and I'll read you my journaling when I get there. I do a lot of journaling on this layout, actually, more than I normally do, which I kind of like. Just trying a few different things from here to see if I can find anything that works. Now, these tabs, you're supposed to fold them over and staple them or glue them. Ooh, I apologize. I yawned. Ooh, that's not good. I still have plenty of time left in today. Um, anyways, I normally cut them apart so I can use both sides of them. I, you're not going to see the back of it if I fold it over and staple it or, um, or adhere it. So I am going to trim off those so I can use them now. Okay. This is kind of a total fail. So I have these rub-ons, <coughs> have these rub-ons and they don't work like almost at all. <laughs> it annoys the snot out of me. So I try a couple. I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's just me, you know, what's going on. And then I have to even turn it over to see if, to see if for some reason I was rubbing the wrong side and then I got a different stylus to use. And this one sort of works. I use a few of those gold triangles. You're going to see a few of them, but not very many of them because I end up not, I don't like the way that it looks. And then I did rub off a few stars, um, <laughs> But even at the end, they end up coming off. They just don't stay on. And that annoys the crap out of me. So these these uh, rub-ons are not going to... They're going to be tossed. They're no longer working. If I have to fight with it to have it come off and then have it not even adhere to the page, it's not worth it. But I do have these other rub-ons. And um, these are left over from a Studio Calico kit, I believe. So I have these other rub-ons. And I want to see if they work. And... For the most part, they do work. They are a little bit older, so I want to make sure I use them up. But the first set was a Pink Fresh Studios, and I really like the design, but I just, I never, I apparently I kept them too long. I had probably had them almost two years, so I think. So I, they're definitely older, um, but I wanted to use them. And since I can't, I'll, I'll toss them, um, but I'll share that with you in my killer kit video, which I'm hoping I can get up over either to, well, it'd probably be tomorrow. It's not going to be today, but, um, we'll see if I could kill this kit. I would love to, cause I really like this kit, but I also like using up my supplies. So, um, what I've got here, um, so it's kind of, it's supposed to say top five favorite. And what I end up putting is one is eating lunch together daily Two really spending time together as a family. Three neighborhood walks in the spring, summer, and fall. Of course we don't do them in the winter. It's too cold. Um, four traditions such as the fair. We go to the state fair every single year. Um, and then five, our little unit of three. Because we have just a simple little family unit of three and it just is extremely nice and balanced because both Ernest and I are there. We do a lot of the uh, things together just as a small little family and it just works out so well. So I'm trying a couple different stickers, a couple different die cuts, trying to figure out what works. The die cut I ended up putting on the collage photo says this is me and it has an arrow pointing so I thought that was perfect for a collage um, style photo of just some selfies. And then, um, of course, like I said, that teal banner across the balloon says so very blessed. And I put a gold arrow towards the 34 and I'm trying to decide what else to put. I don't like the top five favorite. I just don't like it for whatever reason. So I'm trying to go through the die cut packs here to see if something else will fit. And you can see I'm trying out a bunch of stuff, but you'll see how it ends up. It doesn't exactly end up like this. <laughs> um, but I am going in the right direction. I will, I'll settle on something here shortly. And this thing says, um, uh, I think it says the best day ever. And it could have worked, but the colors were kind of throwing me off a little bit. Um, so first I decided to add a little bit of washi 
here on this over that top five favorite. And of course I have to run out of adhesive because that's what happens whenever you are on a roll. Um, and then I put that down and it's just, mm, it's just not looking right to me. And that black banner that's at the bottom says so thankful because I am so thankful. I'm so thankful for my family. I'm so thankful for every, all the things that we have just to be, you know, just to be a family We're we are so happy. And I really, I'm really thankful for all of that. So I'm replacing this blue with this yellow. The blue is throwing me off because it doesn't really match the rest of the layout. So I'm replacing it with this yellow. And um, then I'm also going to add this banner over it. And this banner says, enjoying the ride. And that kind of brings in more of the colors that are across the page because that today card is yellow. I'm adding a few more of these epoxy stickers. I like to use a couple things from each collection that I'm using. That way it seems cohesive across the page. It doesn't have to be, of course, but I really kind of like the way that it looks. I'm adding a bit of yellow here at the bottom. That teal card is looking kind of plain, um, especially since the gold rub-ons aren't really working properly. So it looks just, just a bit plain to me. Just going to continue rifling through all my products. I seem to struggle a little bit more with this one than I did with the last layout that I shared with y'all just a few minutes ago. Um, it, I think I had too many things to choose from, so I just kept kind of flipping through everything. And you're getting a nice look at all of the supplies that I have pulled out. Um, I have this sticker, and what this sticker says is it says happiness is homemade, and it's just a slightly too small to fit over that be happy, so I'm going to mat it on some of this patterned paper that I had in my stash kit. It's an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. I have a lot of different sized papers, and so in my stash kits, I'm trying to incorporate a couple of different things. That way I can continue to use things up in my stash. Okay, so here's the rearranged, here, here are the rearranged cards, and this is what it's actually going to, or where the placement actually is going to be at the end when I finish. So when I flipped through those papers, this teal polka dot paper came up and I thought, oh, this is perfect. Okay, so let's put a piece of that down, make a banner, and then we're going to write the word brilliant. And I'm just going to kind of chop off the pieces that hang off the top. Only really that one L kind of got chopped a little bit, but it's totally legible. You have no problem reading what it actually says. And I was impressed with myself for remembering the, the eyes, the dots on the eyes. So I went ahead and stopped and added a little bit of journaling. So what it has is on the today card, it says today, Ernest turned 34. We got to spend it celebrating together, doing fun things and eating yummy food. Kaylin and I adore this wonderful man. And then on the right card, I also put some journaling and there is a um, word sticker at the top that says random facts. And it says the journaling part says our days are spent at school and work, but all other times are spent with each other. We are such a close family. It's some, it seems so strange to some, but we are so blessed to even be able to eat lunch together on a daily basis. That is a huge thing that we do together every single day. Um, and I absolutely love it. Kaylin will start kindergarten this um, end of the summer so it's kind of bittersweet that our lunch days are kind of over but I still really enjoy my time with him um, so anyways uh, okay so here's where I pull out some more of those gold rub-ons now these are the other ones these are not the pink fresh studio ones but these are the other ones that I had from a st old studio calico kit and they I struggled with it a little bit but it obviously works much better than the pink fresh studio ones did so I'm trimming out this camera and I'm going to actually add it up there on the barber shop photo and then I'm going to add a word sticker on top of that so I just put the gold rub on some white card stock or some scrap white card stock I had sitting there and it's going to go up there and then the um, word sticker is going to say details and that's going to go right on top All right, I added that ampersand at the bottom and it was a gold rub on and it's just layered right under that so thankful I think I did a few of those things when I was doing the journaling as well because I'm actually almost done with this layout. So this one says hello. It again is another one of those gold rub-ons and you can see how how hard I'm rubbing because it was shaking the table and I have my table um, pretty well stabilized where it doesn't move a whole lot. Um, and then I'm just trying to see if there's any other rub-ons that I can use. I still have three left so I was just trying to see if I can use them. But this is really going to finish up this layout. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned. I'm probably going to have at least one more video go up today on National Scrapbooking Day. And I plan to scrapbook tomorrow as well, which is Sunday. So even though it's Mother's Day, hey, it's my day. I get to do what I want to do. So anyways, thanks for watching. And don't forget to check out the blog post that goes with this. All right, guys. Bye.